Hi everybody, I'm Jolie O'Dell for Startup Lucky and I'm here with Mike Prasad of Girl Gamer. Um, the Girl Gamer is the site known for its never-ending launch <laughs> and that's kind of a joke in the industry. You said you launched your private beta last summer. Um, and it, well, last early fall. Last okay, year. so tell, tell us a little bit about what Girl Gamer is. But it's a social network and a video game site for female gamers. So you're looking at reviews, articles, media, um, interviews, all the cool kind of magazine style articles looking for, um, tied to a full social network. So you have profiles and groups and all that good stuff. Okay, and you did mention you're looking for more content right now, right? Yeah. Um, we need content across the board. So anything from, like we've been doing video, we've done some video bloggers, um, writers for articles, um, people who want to review games, um, just news articles as well. I mean, we just need, we need, we're in this stage now where we have the site up, we have the burgeoning user base, but what we're missing now is the, the content on the scale we need. We have actually a lot of content for a new site, but given that our site covers every single genre and every single platform, like it's still, that's a, a huge, yeah, it's a huge yeah. thing to fill. Now you said it is for mostly uh, female gamers, so you get a lot of lonely male gamers <laughs> searching for that perfect woman who would get it and like love them for who they really are? I would say there are a lot of um, quote unquote perfect women on our site. <laughs> there are actually some really cool people that make up our site and our community. Um, we do have, we do allow guys on the site. Mm -hmm. There is a ratio in place where you do, we have to keep the site majority female. Right. Um, so you can't, re you can't always just join up as a guy. You have to, there may be available sauce that may not be. The other thing oh, is, that's interesting. yeah. Because it, it, it's a Can site. I ask you what the ratio is? Um, it changes. <laughs> okay. All um, right. Yeah, I mean, eventually I want it to end up being about minimum three fourths. That there's also a really strict reporting process. So if, if you are inappropriate, if you are not positive to the community, especially if you're a guy, like we're oh, very yeah. we're biased against guys. Like <laughs> so if, if you're well, a guy. This is called girl gamer. Exactly. So okay. I mean. The purpose is to create a space for female gamers where they can collaborate and, and meet other female gamers who want a game, who are just gaming with them because they have booths. So your revenue model, which we talked about and we'll talk about a bit later, is just fascinating to me. Uh, so just to very quickly recap for the folks who are watching on Startup Lucky, ads are maybe you said 10% of your business model? Based on our projections, ads are maybe going to end up being maybe 10 to 20% at best of our business, of our business revenue. Mm -hmm. Um, we're, when I designed the platform, I looked at it looking at kind of a social and interactive environment and I realized that ads were kind of on the downturn, click throughs kind of suck, um, so many reasons, right? <laughs> like the list goes on. Yeah, we um, know ads suck, <laughs> but... We wanted to talk about what are the ways that you could derive revenue to run the company and actually be able to exist for your community, but not take away from the experience and not be too invasive as well. Um, so really, it comes down to providing value and providing utility. So that's where our um, our core revenue stream are focused on. I mean, um, we have about five different revenue streams. Um, on our, on, um, so you have advertising, our merchandising are two of the smaller ones. Um, and then the, the three big ones are going to be marketing services. So we're able to do interactive engagement um, campaigns with sort of brands. So say EA has a new game they want to come out. And they want to get feedback from the users. They want to... Uh, they want to promote it with you. We actually have a point system and a badge system. So the site itself actually has kind of a small game. Mm -hmm. So EA can kind of give away some prizes, have a cool contest or kind of interactive activity right. tied to the point system. Um, the users who care about it will actually will engage them, they'll get good feedback, right. and we get some marketing funds. And the users who don't care about it aren't going to be bombarded with exactly. marketing exactly. that is not relevant to them. Um, oh, yes. The other two areas of revenue are... Um, our, our data metrics, so that's going to be a long term thing that I think will be very time. But the one that's really unique about us that I think is that no one else is doing within our industry right. is we're looking at affiliate. Yes. So, um, well, when you talk about affiliate marketing, there's a lot of that going on. What specifically is Girl Gamer doing differently? So, if you go to any game site right now, mm -hmm. um, under any game, say you look up Sport, you'll be able to rent the game from Netflix or from uh, Gamefly and you'll be able to buy the game from Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And that's what every other site calls affiliate marketing. Right. Which is great, but the value, the reality is no one buys 10 games a month. But the area that we're really kind of focusing on is that everyone has their five favorite games that they love. And they, like, if you're a true gamer, you're like, I love certain games, I'm gonna buy everything for it. I'm gonna buy the bag, I'm gonna buy the shirt, I'm gonna buy the, the other merchandise or, or uh, accoutrements for it. So what we're doing is create a marketplace where for any one game title, you'll be able to find all of the cool products offered from across the web. 
mm-hmm. for that game. So if you like World of Warcraft and you want to buy a um, Rogue Zoo from behind t-shirt, uh-huh. uh, you can buy one of those from, <laughs> from our site. Okay. Um, if you want to buy a keychain or you want to buy maybe add-ons or you need to buy a new game card for time, you can buy it through our site. So there are ways to go ahead and um, we'll, we'll roll it out later this month. And yeah. what we'll do is um, it, it provides value to our community because it's really hard to find good game swag. It is, isn't it? Like if you have a game, like, unless you go into a convention and you happen to know a developer, right? Like you really can't find it anymore. Okay. But we've been kind of so Girl Gamer for could become like the game swag. Hub it, it could be of well. the whole gaming universe. That would make Very everybody a lot of money. You'd be rolling around in paper. <laughs> like, I'm so glad I started this site. Dang. I mean, roughly. Roughly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for chatting, yeah, and thanks for the good word on how to avoid feeding ads. Ooh, ads. They're fun, but not good not for so everybody. Much. Yeah.